Scott Quigg is set to challenge WBO champion Oscar Valdez in March Scott Quigg says his WBO title fight against Oscar Valdez is 99% agreed and hopes to make his name in America with victory over the highly rated Mexican. Promoter Eddie Hearn is close to finalizing a deal for Quigg to become the next challenger for the unbeaten WBO featherweight champion Valdez, with a likely location at the StubHub Center in California on March 10. Quig Valdez edging closer Scott Quig is close to a WBO title fight against Oscar Valdez and wants to tear open the featherweight division in 2018, says promoter Eddie Hearn. Quig was initially informed about the fight a month ago and expects to sign the contract in the next few days before flying out to Los Angeles to link up with trainer Freddie Roach. For the last day and a half we've been negotiating and everything that we have agreed verbally, if that's put in the contract, then the fight's a go-ahead, Quig exclusively told Sky Sports. I've agreed to the terms, so it's now 99% going to happen. Until the dotted line is signed, you cannot put 100 on it. Got Quig, it's looking like it's going to be done and it's a fight that really excites me, I've agreed to the terms, so it's now 99% going to happen. Until the dotted line is signed, you cannot put 100 on it, you'll be heading out to the wild card, linking up with Freddy and all the team. I've given all of them the heads up, and everyone's excited. We're looking forward to putting in the preparation, putting in the work, and going out there on the night and becoming a two-weight world champion, the 29-year-old fought for the first time outside. Britain at the end of 2017, stopping Oleg Yefimovich in Monte Carlo in November, and cannot wait to mark his US debut against one of the hottest talents in the States. Quig admits he needs to raise his standards after win over Oleg Yefimovich. Quig admits he needs to raise his standards after win over Oleg Yefimovich. I've always wanted to fight in America, said Quig. It doesn't get much bigger than this, especially in the featherweight division as well, Valdez is talked about as a future star. He's obviously making big noise now, but fighting in America, that's always what I've wanted to do. It's a massive fight on a massive platform and it's one that I'm going to grab with both hands. Quig sparred with Valdez on a number of occasions before his Wembley win over the Oral Simeon last April and expects a memorable battle with the title holder. Another quality day in the gym putting the rounds in with it Oscar Valdez 56 both preparing for our upcoming fights 22nd, the 29th of April. 30, 2017 at 7 p.m. Pacific Daylight Saving Time, we sparred four or five times and if the spars are anything to go by, the fans are in for a real cracker, he said, the spars were even. I couldn't say who got the better of who. We were obviously working on specific game plans for what we had to do. But we got a good look at each other and from the spars, I do take confidence from them, and obviously he'll do the same. I know what I need to do, I know the preparation I need to put in, but as soon as this fight was offered, I told Eddie to snap the hands off, also see, Quig Valdez edging closer Nelson welcomes White Brown understanding O'Hara Davis Fury challenges Joshua for comeback.